Sometimes I just walk around the property, not to relax, but just to see what all my girls have torn up. I don't know if other dads are like this, but look at this fence. They've been climbing over the top of it, having a blast. There's a hole big enough for an antelope to get through. My grandfather used to say, some people, they can tear up an anvil with a toothpick. I don't know how your kids are, but they can tear stuff up and they're just little tiny things. One's gonna be six, one's gonna be eight, but man, they can tear stuff up. And I get really frustrated with them. Not too long ago, I don't know what they'd done. I don't know if I found a bunch of rusted tools in the yard or nails or screws in the drive. I don't know what I found. But I went inside just to vent. And went to my wife. and She was pretty ill at the time. And I was just going, what am I going to do? <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't planning on having to mature. I was going to lean on you for the rest of my life and then go before the throne, you know, with all my sins smelling like sulfur. But now you're, you're leaving me and my crutch is gone. What am I going to do? And she took me by the hand and she said, you know, you're a good looking bud, but I really like to see you blossom bloom before I go and that sounds like kind of a nice thing your wife said hey you're a good looking bud but what she said what she meant by what she said was you can stay a bud for all your life and everybody will think it's beautiful you see a rosebud you know it's 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 that you know it's it's all it's beautiful. I mean, that's what you give when you give, you know, roses. That's what you do. You you give all these beautiful rosebuds, and they're perfect. But it isn't until that rosebud begins to bloom that it releases the fragrance. When it starts to bloom, that's when it starts the process of actually dying, dying to itself. Until then, the petals are pretty much protected. It's, it's like cocooned, but when it begins to open up, all the petals are exposed. And that's what she meant. She meant that you could stay a bud forever. And everybody would go, oh, Marty, he was, he was a mighty man of God. Oh, he was... He was a great teacher. Oh, he had great wisdom. Oh, they'll cry. They'll, you can do all that stuff. And when you die, it'll all be about you. Or you can bloom and release the sweet fragrance unto the Lord and begin the process of dying to yourself and living for him. She perfected helpmate. In the last months of her life, she perfected a godly wife, a godly woman. She perfected Proverbs 31. She was a bright shining star, bearing fruit of righteousness for years and decades. But in those last months, she could reprove me. I didn't, I didn't walk into that bedroom to get reproved. I went for sympathy. She didn't have any of it. And the reproof, the rebuke that I received, it won't ever leave me. Because it was so sweet. And it was so gentle. And it was so perfect. And it was so helpmate. And it was so submissive. And it was so like a wife. You know, interestingly, I not only grew to love her so much more, infinitely more, multiples more in those months, 
but liked her even more. But the more she became that image of Christ, the more that she started really, or I mean, just, it, just un phenomenally walking in that role of a wife to a husband, I really began to admire her. So much so that when she passed away, beside her bed, all I could really say to the children, our children that were standing there, is how proud I was of her. She literally died with a smile on her face, confident in her Savior, confident in her role as a wife, confident in whose she was, comfortable and well pleased pleasing her husband and pleasing the Lord through her husband. It was a powerful thing. I got a taste of what it is to die to yourself so that others might live. I got a taste of what it is that the first shall be last and the last shall be first. I got a taste of what it is to esteem Christ and Him only. It was sweet. It still is. Yeah, I can get frustrated with these kids. I can get frustrated about all kinds of things. But I resolve not just to be that pretty bud, but to bloom and release the sweet fragrance of sacrifice of dying to myself. I saw a shining example of it. And it's a good thing. When a man finds a good woman, he has found a good thing. Amen? Indeed, indeed. Amen.